High winds and heavy rains are tearing up the U.S. eastern seaboard as Tropical Storm Hermine pounds the Atlantic coast. It's already left a trail of destruction in Florida, Georgia, and the Carolinas over the Labor Day weekend, forcing people like Jennifer Webb to escape rising floodwaters. We go and we get all the kids up and load them into the truck, and by the time we got out of there, we're trying to drive out of Huntsville Beach. Water was up to our thighs. We we're wading out of there, just barely made it out of there. The storm swept ashore along Florida's Gulf Coast Friday. Authorities say a homeless man sleeping in his tent was killed by a falling tree. Hermine brought down electricity lines, leaving hundreds of thousands without power. So the top concern of residents, residents I met with is regaining power to their homes and businesses so they can begin the recovery process. Hermine could return to hurricane strength as it makes its way up the Carolinas, packing 60 mile per hour winds. Forecasters are warning of life threatening floods and at least one tornado reportedly touched down in North Carolina. The storm is dampening holiday plans for millions of Americans who are now having to rethink their plans for the long Labor Day weekend.